science of India is one of the 64 Vedic arts. All Vedic arts are highly developed and intricate. They require patience, deep contemplation, sharp intelligence and wisdom to perform properly, ideally under the guidance of a guru. Vastu, like other Vedic arts, doesn't work independently. It is very strongly linked with the astrological science, Jyotish, and the knowledge of the controllers of nature. In a Vastu house, the dimensions of every single element is rigorously calculated mathematically. This approach mimics the beauty of nature. It follows a very precise fractal pattern in its design. In this example, you can see the kitchen house, the proportions of the perimeter of the house, match the proportions of the window and the door. Also, all the furniture inside is calculated using the specific proportions that are given in the Vastu scriptures. In order to start to calculate dimensions and proportions of a house, we need to agree on the units of measurement. The units of measurement in the Vastu scriptures are different from what we know today as uh, centimeters, inches. Before there was units based on angulas. Angula is a measurement that is calculated by putting eight grains of barley together, eight yava, that's the word, yava, for barley corn, and that is the measurement of an angula. And that also matches the distance in between the two joints of the middle finger. Having defined this measurement, then we can start to calculate, for example, in houses, the perimeter has to be calculated using the unit hasta. The exact number that we used for the value of an angula was three centimeters. And based on this, we calculated, designed, and built the whole Chattusada house. We start by more or less estimating a certain desired perimeter or length of a house. We have our 9 by 9 grid here, and then we more or less know what kind of space we can use to fit a house in here. And then based on that, we start to see the value of each perimeter. And we use the formulas called Ayadi Shadvar. These formulas are used to calculate different qualities that each house will have. Have you ever walked into a place where you immediately feel peace? Or have you walked into a place that no matter how clean, you felt claustrophobic and fearful? It is not magic. It is explained very scientifically within the Vastu science. Here is a table that summarizes some of the formulas that we use to study each perimeter. Each perimeter will have an associated income and expenditure. And that means, for example, that if you live in a house, that as soon as you move into the house, your income will be a certain amount and your expenditure will be another amount. If your income is greater, then you'll be able to maintain the house. But if your expenses are greater, then you'll always be in trouble. And you won't be very peaceful in the house. But this is calculated at the time of the design of the house using these formulas. There's also another formula called the origin or the yoni. And it is basically the direction of the house towards the center of the plot. Here is the center of the plot, it's called Brahmanabi. And the eastern house, for example, is facing towards that center. This is called Ketu Yoni, or the eastern Yoni. Each formula has its uh, certain way of calculating. Like Yoni, for example, is the perimeter multiplied by 3 and divided by 8. The reminder of that is what the actual Yoni number is. I already worked on all this stuff and made an Excel sheet so that you can just type in the number and all the formulas, perimeters are calculated automatically. So let me show you an example. This video is meant to be an overview and you will require to go deeper into the study of the scripture to understand all the details. 
But just for the sake of example, I want to make a house that fits in this space. So I more or less calculate the perimeter in meters and then convert it into hasta so that I can type it into the Excel sheet and get an idea if the perimeter is suspicious or not. So converting the perimeter to hastas, I know that it's around 29 hastas. So I already did this and I know that it's 29 hastas, 16 angulas. And that will give me a yoni of number one. In this column you can see the result of all the formulas that are in the column E and if the yoni equals 1, the remainder equals 1, that means it's good for the eastern house and different yoni are different for each house in the north for example you want gaja yoni which is number 7 so let's say for the eastern house this perimeter is good for the eastern house and the income is 9 and the expenditure is 5, 7, 3 or 5, there's 4 options so in all cases the income is greater and you can see here below in the profit that it's all blue if I used a perimeter that's a little bit higher than that you'll notice that 2 of them go red that means the expenditure is greater and there will be financial problem so we always want to make sure the income is greater and there's other parameters like I mentioned before the nakshatra this number is 21 refers to the list of nakshatras uttara ashada so you have to study a little bit of the basics of astrology to understand nakshatras and which is compatible which one it's not only the same nakshatra for everyone, but which is compatible with you or who's going to live there. And you have all these other numbers, like for example the age. Each building will have qualities of age, you know, like childhood, youth, uh, old age. And there's one that's called death, the age of death, or the moment of death. And you avoid that and try to avoid that. So if a certain perimeter has that number, of 5 or 10 in the formula then you have to discard it and look for another perimeter until you get a perimeter that is auspicious so you can see as I go through the perimeters 32 angulas 32 hasta 35 hasta many of them have uh, red in them and that's because they have problem with the expenses so many perimeters cannot be used and only certain auspicious perimeters will give desired results this is a very very quick overview so please download this excel sheet i'm attaching in the description the spreadsheet the 3d model and all the measurements that were used to design this house including the kitchen furniture the doors the window everything so you can go back and study the scripture itself and study the 3D model and study the spreadsheet and you're free to ask any questions I'll be happy to help I just don't want to make this video too complicated just an overview so once you have your perimeter then there's also formulas that are used to determine the height of the house the perimeter the width of the basement is called paduka, the bottom here. The, the width of the bottom chain and the top chain, the uttara. And yeah, I can show you in this, in this picture. All these, the dimension of this part, the bottom chain, the top chain, the thickness of the wall, the slope of the roof, all of these are explained in the Shastra. And they're part of the calculation. And they're all mathematical. There's very little speculation or uh, just trying to guess what looks good. Uh, many things are already uh, predefined. You have to follow certain rules. And automatically, the building becomes very beautiful.
If it's not beautiful, that means there's a problem with the application of the formulas. And let me show you uh, that other part in the spreadsheet. The third tab is called Vertical Components. And there's all these Sanskrit terms, Padamana, which is the bottom, the basement. And then this is the subdivisions within the basement. And the scripture will say you have to use one tenth of that original proportion to make the Adishtan, a little lip decoration and so on. And there are so many details. I, it just it would take too long to put everything in the video. Uh, but this dimension of the pillars and the wall plate, the top chain, how much of the roof can be projected outwards to create shade around the house. And all these formulas are explained in the PDF, the Manushya Laya Chandrika book. And here I put them all in electronic form to make it much faster, easier for you to calculate them. But that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. You still have to study the scripture and go and uh, back and forth until you get it right. It might seem a little bit complicated, but it's actually... Uh, fairly simple once you have it all in an excel sheet and you just have to be patient and take your time to make a vastu house is not a cheap or simple endeavor you have to plan ahead and really think about what you want even a year or two ahead so that you can get the just what you want by the time you start moving bricks and soil and the natural materials that you if you have any comments or questions, please visit our website, the Vedic